Hi everyone, it's Monique, and I'm back with another project for Wild Orchid Crafts on behalf of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. So today what I'm going to be showing you is our October design team challenge, which was to create a Halloween treat bag. So let me move this sign out of the way, and I will show you my completed project. So I made my treat bag look like a tombstone and I actually used the Tim Holtz cabinet die die, the movers and shapers. So I used one die cut for the front, one for the back, and then I added a little gusset kind of in between to create a bag. I've got a clip here holding it closed. It's just a silver clip. And I've got a little piece of ribbon tied to the end and this ribbon is not sure what you call this, but it kind of looks like spider webbing. And I've got a little three millimeter deep red rhinestone on the corner there. The letters are the Tim Holtz Alpha parts from the Ransom style. I just embossed this image on here. This again is a Tim Holtz stamp and I believe it's from the Urban Chic collection. Here I've got a 15 millimeter open rose from Wild Orchid Crafts, a couple of the different size leaves which I painted with my Pewter Perfect Pearls and what I did was I just created a paste using Water and Perfect Pearls and painted it on and then to bring out a little bit of texture in the leaves I used some ebony colored rub and buff. These here are two 5 millimeter closed rose buds. They were actually originally ivory and I've dyed them black using my Delusions sprays. In the left corner here, I just used a black marker to put this silhouette of the tree on there. And I have a, a stencil that I use for that. I've got the grass punch, border punch from Martha Stewart, covered by some more of the same ribbon that I used up here on the clip. Here in the bottom right hand corner, I've got one of the large cottage roses. And this actually started off being yellow. And again, I painted it with my... Perfect Pearls, Pewter Color. You can see I have another large leaf under here from Wild Orchid Crafts, which I colored. This here is one of the silver gold filigree squares, which I shaped into a leaf. I've got a 20 millimeter open rose here, which I colored with my Delusions spray. A 15 millimeter open rose. This is from one of the red packs. I have two of the 5 millimeter red closed rosebuds and I actually did color them a little bit more using my Delusion spray to darken them up. This is another five millimeter closed rosebud. It was ivory and I painted it black or so I used black Delusion spray and a hip rosebud which I also used my Delusion spray on. And this little thing here is just a little skull bead from my stash. So there it is. I hope you like my project. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. As usual, I will leave a list of all the Wild Orchid Crafts products I used on this project down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to go check out the Wild Orchids Crafts channel and see what all the other DT members are doing. Have a great day.